You know, practicing is, is um, a term which means everything and nothing. I think I, what is important for me is to have a, a, a familiar access to my guitar and a familiar uh, relationship with my guitar. The more I play my guitar, the more I feel how to touch it, and the more I feel what the guitar would like me to, to play. And the more I play my guitar, the more I can forget my guitar and really uh, think to what I want to express with it. So there is a moment where I forget the guitar and there is another moment when I have to go back to the guitar and learn how to play what I would like to play and play guitar then, you know. But I do think sometimes to also work my technique for instance, my right hand. I'm very, very inspired by classical guitar technique and by flamenco techniques where you rest your thumb like this, you rest your fingers like this, and then you start. This is a classical technique I'm using, and I'm self-taught. So, what I mean is that even if you are self-taught, there is a way, there is a moment when all the roads cross each other and you go back to, you know, the, the best way to, to approach an instrument. But there is not only one way, the guitar is a very, very infinite instrument. It's available for all kinds of techniques. It depends what you want to do with it and what is, it, what, what is that your intuition is telling you. Um, because I play in, in this alternative tuning called Dadgad, D, A, D, G, A, D. This has um, influenced my playing a lot. At the beginning, anyway, I played a lot of very drown music, like. typical of, of an alternative tuning of that guy to play in the spirit of traditional instruments like uh, the back, Scottish bagpipe or um, traditional music because it's, it's, it has a, a quality, a, a model quality, model because, because there is no third in this tuning. So it's open. This G, we call it suspended 11 because the G is suspended without being resolved by a third. So there is no mode, and it's called modal tuning because there is no mode, no minor, no major. And I like that because it's quite open and the color is available. It's not like already a major chord, you know, and it's going to sort of influence all your approach with it. When the, the first thing that I was playing with that guy was a lot of D and a lot of music like this, you know, oriental music, um, traditional Irish music. And then I thought that I was also using a lot of different other tunings and I was not happy with my limitations because I didn't know where I was on the neck. I had to, I had to go back a little bit, to step a little bit backward and to learn my way on the guitar neck, on the fretboard. So I chose, to, I chose only one tuning, and I thought, okay, let's take one tuning, and let's learn to play the guitar again. So I chose that gap, and learn the chord. This is a G major for me. So you know, as soon as you start playing chords, you are no longer in that gap. You know, you, you have to make that gap discreet. That guy is not playing the music. You are playing the music. You know, there is no open string here. This is a major seventh. 
the ninth. With the augmented fifth. You know? So as soon as you start looking into So I'm trying to use that guy as any, anybody else would use standard tuning to play anything. Chords, melodies, accompaniment, bass line, counterpoint. And so when I write the music, I think about all that and I think about just taking advantage the most that I can of this tuning. But if I had to play in standard tuning, I would do a thing, I would have the same, the same approach, the same procedure. But that got inspired me to play a certain type of music, like... very that guy that's very you know inspired by by this tuning but the chord a lot of open strings mixed with fretty strings practicing as well, that I, I try to play in the spirit of the piano, of a keyboard, where everything is very fluid and very liquid, like instead of attacking every note, I'm going to try to, to have some note to ring. called harp technique because it looks like a, a harp or like a keyboard. The principle is to, um, to um, instead of playing three notes on, on the same string or two strings, to try to find three strings and adapt your fingering so that you hear three notes and you let them ring. Four notes, five notes, okay? That's the principle.